the way I'm just going to start this, and I, I'm, I'm not going to pluck this turkey or anything, I'm just going to skin him off and, and show the way that, uh, that I always clean them. Uh, get the feathers kind of pulled back on the breast. Get just a little incision going right there on the skin. And skin him right open. And you can see that skin comes off there really fast, really easy. Skin it all the way up to the top. You can see that's, uh, that's his craw. This one's craw is nearly completely empty. Skin that all the way back there. You can see the wishbone down in there. Just lets you see what you're working with. Um, if you want to save the thighs and drumsticks, just uh, make a little cut there. Skin those back. These thighs and drumsticks are, are pretty good. You kind of got to be a little more creative cooking them. They, they can be really tough, um, but you can cook them in a crock pot. They make pretty decent uh, turkey noodle soup and stuff like that. So. That turkey's pretty well skinned off. And what I'll do after I cut these legs off, I'll just take a, uh, you can use a saw or whatever. I usually use a pair of uh, gardening shears and just snip that leg bone off. But you can also just break it and cut it. But from here, just uh, take your knife, go right down the edge of the breastbone. Making sure to keep that blade right there next to the bone because you can see that inside tenderloin. That's uh, what uh, what you have in chicken strips with from restaurants, you know, from a chicken. Um, that is the uh, the best part of the turkey, in my opinion. Just keep it coming right along. Keep it filleting right off that bone. You we'll get up here to the wishbone. Cut right along that. Lay that breast meat right off there. Voila. There's uh, one half of it. Get the same thing on the other side. Right there along that wishbone. <clears throat> and there you go. Take that in, wash it up, clean it up a little bit. Now cut these legs off. You can see that leg bone's right there. Start up here at the top of the thigh, slice down, bottom of the thigh right there, slice inward. You can see right there is that little ball and socket joint. It disconnects right there, cut that tissue around it, take it all the way off, and there's your turkey leg. Like I say, you'll just uh, you know snip the snip the leg and foot off. The same thing on the other side. Break that hip. Ball and socket breaks out. I think I just poked my cameraman in the face with a turkey foot. And there you go. That's it. That turkey is clean. Wash that meat up a little bit. Cut the feet off because I'm not going to fry them. and Probably going to be eating some turkey here in just a few short hours. So 
you know, cleaning turkeys is, is pretty simple. Um, they're delicious to eat. You know, you do, uh, their, their internal body temperature is really high. You do want to try to, after you kill a bird, you do want to try to get it cleaned as quick as possible, get that meat chilled and, and trimmed up. But uh, when you do that, they're just about the best eating wild game to walk. So that's all there is to it.